Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Justinian's Junction, where we meet through gaming. And as always, it's a pleasure seeing you once again. I would like to welcome you to this top 3 endgame clip montage. This is the culmination of Season 1 and it's a befitting ending for it. I will provide you with insight throughout this video and discuss my successes and of course failures. Enjoy. As discussed in a previous video, this was one of those matches where you touch down, obtain high tier loot and the ring is constantly in your favor. We did nothing but wait for over 20 minutes in this game. However, the ending was pretty clutch. We know the location of one squad, which is northeast. However, we choose not to push it for three reasons. One, we have the zone. Two, we do not know the location of the other team. And three, we want to avoid a third party. Got the positional advantage. Who would have thought the third team was a solo? Go figure. I did a substantial amount of damage with my ultimate and I broke someone's shield. I conveyed that to my teammates. While we await for Llama to heal himself, Drax provides us with a zipline for faster advancement. This, in my opinion, was a tremendous team coordination for a final push, which is why it made it as a top 3 clip. Champions. Ten seconds to the ring. It's healing up. This clip starts with us traversing the ring immediately after surviving a skirmish with an enemy squad. We heal and we use the jump tower to move further into the zone. Then this happens. Had this individual used any other weapon besides a hemlock or landed any shots with the peacekeeper, I would have been eliminated. With this being late game, reviving me wouldn't have been a viable option. Eyes are open now. Patching myself up a bit. Standard stock heal. Level three. After I rechecked my inventory and realized 
that I don't have enough consumables for an extended engagement. I do something so risky. The worst part was that I didn't even pay off. I was extremely frustrated by my decision. No syringes or medkits. One minute, rings pretty close. Help John if you need it. We're done, Grant. I'll let you in the Rings not too far. Forty five left. Shield cell Round here. Round five. Beginning ring countdown. Body shield here. Level three. Pay attention. Some of us aren't inside the ring. Luckily for us, this area was completely untouched. We decided to post up in the corner and await the opposition to set up an ambush. Then, all hell breaks loose. It's because of this chaos they made this video a top 3 in a game clip. Champions. Target over there. Amigos, let's go here. 
In this clip, we have a top three situation. I spot a team on top of the roof of the building outside a bunker. I take and land a couple of shots with the long ball. Then I make a move via jump tower to get high ground. What do you think is over here? Enemy trap spotted. Let's go this way. As I'm on the verge of fully healing, this team decides to make a very aggressive push. I absolutely demolish the first person on the zip line. Instead of reloading, by pressing square, it comes my character to take the zip line, which is not what I wanted to do. After making an erroneous action, Jesmic pulls off a great respawn. However, I get greedy. And it's because of this greed I completely lose my situational awareness and get knocked down by the rain.
We could check out here. Jasmine pulls off another great respawn, provides me with a weapon and some consumables for the final engagement. And as luck would have it, a level 3 vest via an in-game care package. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this top 3 endgame moment montage. Thanks for watching, and thank you for joining me in Justinian's Junction, where we meet through gaming. Until we meet again, in season 2. This is where it ends.